world of education is child centered it's also an age appropriate form of education that takes into consideration the seven year cycle in a child's life we began to think about starting such a school we did a whole lot of exhibitions and other dialogues with people we also spoke to a lot of prospective parents and teachers and teachers from other schools about what this education is and could it work in india is this what we need we even tried a summer camp which turned out to be a great success because here were children who had never drawn anything in their life asking is this right in world of education you don't draw an outline you actually use the color to make the form and that means inner expression self expression which is a great deal different from trying to color in the form of something so all these things were quite alien in india for at that time and people said oh if they learn poetry and they learn things by heart how are they going to learn their formulas in science and this was a question that didn't make sense to me because i feel the capacity of the mind is infinite and you don't replace something with another thing like a put filling a cupboard so actually you light a fire a fire of interest and love for learning you don't fill a bucket and try to download information which they have to use to pass an exam and forget forever more uh, so that is why i felt this was the right thing for india and if a child could actually enjoy the days of childhood could have the wonder of learning be part of the journey of discovering the various subjects and world of education is the three step you introduce the idea from life the phenomena is explored together with the teacher the whole thing is recollected and reported by the child and then together we arrive at the concept or conclusion and this makes a big difference than being told this from page 35 of a textbook where the child has no participation at all in the process and they forget and get them when uh, sloka started with 16 children and uh, we, we were a little concerned because uh, our expenses were quite high we were from a, operating from a rented building and we had four full time teachers who were being paid the highest uh, amounts that were being paid in this sector while uh, we had uh, excellent uh, teaching facilities and uh, teachers who were very well trained our bricks and mortar situation was rather precarious we were operating out of rented buildings and uh, our and we kept justifying saying that it was the spirit of the school etc uh, but um, that even we weren't very convinced but then uh, around 2008 we identified a, a plot of land that was utterly beautiful and we wanted to keep it intrinsically the way it was so we have we built a temporary uh, building and our children moved in there and for about a year or two they were uh, operating from the temporary building uh, and we had german architects teets and teets who uh, did the whole planning and who uh, but then unfortunately uh, midway through uh, we exceeded our projected amount so the building was stuck for about a year or a year and a half and then we again uh, revived it and right now uh, i think we are in a very unique position in the sense in the next um, a month or so we will be totally debt free and then of course um, that uh, the problem doesn't end there because uh, in an educational institution we keep building and uh, so now the next phase has started We say rhythm, 
recall, reverence and repetition are the four mantras of the Waldorf School. And we try to see all of this is taught to the teacher so that they understand this is part of how we teach the children here. Also with languages like Telugu and Hindi, it's a whole new journey to see how that can be taught differently. We introduce the alphabets differently. So teacher training has been done in-house with mentors from abroad, committing their time, coming regularly, giving us valuable feedback and doing workshops with the teachers to ensure that the quality of teaching is really on par with anything worldwide. The first seven years, the faculty that the child is learning from is the faculty of imagination and imitation. Through imitation and the senses, the child takes in and learns the world. Here we firmly believe that children up to the age of six plus need to play and learn because when a child is playing he healthily, they're actually learning in a very healthy manner. That is the foundation for learning for their whole life. That is focus, concentration, habits, character, everything is built up in the early years of childhood. And how they are nurtured, a teacher does not need to teach in those years. How the child is actually nurtured is how they will grow to be in health and in their potential in the later years. The nursery children are mixed in with the kindergarten children and just like it is in a family. So you have a two-year-old, you have a four-year-old, you have a six-year-old. When the children come are reaching age six, uh, we have uh, an assessment. It's more physical exercises to see whether the child is ready for class one. And those who have reached uh, six plus after the cutoff date, parents there also plead and say that, you know, just a few days after the cutoff date. But we find that these children who are uh, six plus, and they're almost seven when they go into class one the following year, they are leaders. And I think India needs leaders. I think we are going on the right track. The second seven years is the age of feeling, of inspiration. And through this feeling life and inspiration, through telling stories, through music, the rhythm of the child's day is set. The five classes or the eight classes up to the age of 14 work on the curriculum of the Waldorf School that is very age appropriate and deals with the consciousness of the growing child. There are questions that the child has that is answered in math, in stories, in history. We have mythology going towards history. We introduce geography in class four and the geography actually begins with the classroom. Where does the sun rise and set? What is north, south, east, west? It's a very, very child-centric kind of an education. The children of 7 to 14 also learn a lot of music. If you want to listen to them play the recorder, you must walk into any grades and they will be playing the alto recorders and the soprano recorders for you to listen to and enjoy the music that they serve before you. Besides this, please walk into the craft room. You will see their tiny hands at work, knitting away, crocheting away, embroidery, machine work, clay work, artwork, and carpentry too. And according to Steiner, in Waldorf schools, we prepare the child not only intellectually, but the child becomes a complete human being and brings his spirit to harmonize with his physical body through this entire education. Somebody once told me that um, any kind of party that he attends and uh, if a, a child uh, grabs his attention, invariably the child uh, turns out to be from Sloka. And I asked him what, what was the big difference and he said, uh, it was the sheer self-confidence that these children had. They could talk, 
on a one to one with an adult so th- this was pretty uh, unique and uh, it was quite uh, very satisfying for us as the founders of uh, sloka now apart from that uh, our children have uh, had a very uh, a unique kind of uh, background there was one kid who uh, did the logo for unesco for friendship uh, another one uh, did a film that won an award in cannes and uh, in fact uh, that was the only award winner that india had that year of in any category so th- this kind of a background and uh, our uh, children in the cbsc exams they've done uh, very well and also uh, loka is the kind of institution where we do not uh, restrict uh, children and they are allowed freely into uh, even if they have learning disabilities they come into school and uh, even those children with uh, scribes they have done uh, so well as to merit um, uh, a letter from our uh, human resources minister smriti irani congratulating these children here in sloka we explore several fields in which the child takes interest so that they get a different perspective of the world view ultimately this world view is important for a world citizenship and unless their horizons are expanded we find that they get this narrow minded thinking and for that the curriculum actually weaves through many fields and that's what we do in sloka we do not curtail their knowledge to just the textbook even though in upper grades we do have certain textbooks these textbooks are not complete for us as a teacher we are allowed to use these textbooks and deliver the academical uh, knowledge that is there in it but with a world view attached to it that makes it better for the adolescent child to gain life skills the uh, children uh, were actually living their uh, childhood which in other schools uh, i always felt that the amount of pressure which was on the children was too high which wasn't there at shloka there was not a single day when the child uh, didn't want to come to school and in fact uh, it was difficult uh, during the holidays because the children always wanted to be in school after devoting over 20 years of my life to world of education and sloka it's a question what it is that we need for the future and i really feel now that we've got this halfway settled the school we need to think about scaling up and see that world of education in its elements or in its entirety is spread so that more children can benefit from a very value based and interesting form of learning that keeps them motivated and makes them human beings who want to realize their potential and work in the world and can question and make a difference in what they do i hope we are able to send our own resources to various cities and other parts of india who are open and want this so that this education can become a very integral part of 